Adventures of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim, broadcast weekly over this station, are based upon the action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the full-color comic supplement which is delivered to you every week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Having landed safely on the Paguan Islands, where he is to uncover a plot to seize the islands when the United States withdraws its protectorate, Jungle Jim loses no time in dispelling the rumor of his death. Jungle Jim was supposedly murdered by Major Breeze. The governor of the islands has issued a warrant for the immediate arrest of the major upon his arrival. The army officers sent to meet him immediately hurry back to report to the governor. As the scene opens, we find Colonel Miller making his report. I deeply regret, Governor, my inability to carry out your orders for the arrest of Major Breeze on a charge of murder. And I respectfully return the warrant for the Major's arrest. Now, look here, Colonel. This is a serious matter. As commanding officer of the intelligence unit on these islands, it's your duty to carry out my orders, regardless of your personal feelings in the matter. I assure you, Governor, my personal feelings toward the Major had nothing to do with the matter. But the judge advocate's office said that to prove a charge of murder, there must be a... Uh, Well, uh, corpus delecti. I know all that, Colonel. But the recovery of Jungle Jim's body can be accomplished after the arrest. You surely didn't expect Major Breeze to bring Jungle Jim's body back with him. That, Governor, is precisely what the Major did. What? You you mean the body of Jungle Jim is here? Major Breeze brought it back? Yes, sir. It's right outside the door. I'll have the Major bring it in himself. Uh, 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 Hold on. Don't bring the corpse in. Why, why, Major Breeze. Don't be alarmed, Governor. This tall, bronze, healthy specimen on my left is the corpse. May I present Jungle Jim Bradley? Yes, sir, Governor. Governor. As the immortal Mark Twain once said, the reports of my death have been grossly exaggerated. (laughs) (laughs) Well, gentlemen, it's quite apparent that the joke, if if that's what it is, on me. Now, perhaps you'll let me in on it. Uh, Gentlemen, now that you've had your little joke, may I come in? (laughs) I hope I'm not intruding. Not at all, Mr. Rill. After all, you're my principal defense witness. (laughs) Governor Thorpe? May I present to Your Excellency, Miss Lily DeVril, Mr. Bradley's partner in all his adventurous undertakings. I am honored, Miss DeVril. Won't you be seated, please? Thank you, Your Excellency. Now, gentlemen, will you kindly explain this mystery? Major Breeze, I, I'd like to hear from you first. Uh, briefly, Governor, from the information Colonel Miller has given me, I think the warrant for my arrest should be destroyed and a new warrant issued for attempted manslaughter against my former guide and manservant known to us as Koa. What? For it was Koa who placed the dummy cartridges in Jungle Jim and Mr. Vril's rifles. It was Koa who fired at Jim at the same time that I fired, killing the leopard. But for the quick action of Kolu here, and Bradley's faithful Hindu retainer who deflected Koa's rifle, Jungle Jim Bradley might not have been here. Koa also attacked and tried to kill Kolu here. Fortunately, Kolu was able to ward off the attack and escape with nothing more serious than a bad bump on the head. Well, then this native Koa, as you call him trumped up this whole story to protect himself. Why? Koa is undoubtedly in the pay of Karnak the killer, or the power that threatens to seize the islands when we withdraw our protectorate. Don't you see, Governor, this whole plot and attempted murder was to prevent us from bringing Jungle Jim Bradley to help us uncover the plot to seize the islands. Gentlemen, this is amazing. Most amazing. Uh, Here, here, look at the time. Suppose we all retire to luncheon. Mr. Vril, I'm sure, must be famished. <laughs> Not quite, Your Excellency. But I think I can do justice to one of those little luncheons the colonial governors are so famous for. <laughs> Good. I, I'm sure we can all do better after a little food. Uh, if you take my arm, Mr. Vril, I'll take you to Mrs. Thorpe. She'll take good care of you until lunch is served. Oh. Colonel Miller, if you'll take care of Mr. Bradley, we'll move along. After luncheon, the governor and his guests retired to a private room to discuss the situation and lay plans for the coming campaign against the sinister unseen power that threatens the safety of the island. Of course, Jim was dead. He could safely come back and lay the blame on me. Uh, This looks very serious. It's going to be a great surprise to Koa when he finds out I'm still alive. When is he due to report back here, Governor? Didn't you promise him a reward for the information? Yes, he'll probably come in either tomorrow or the next day. I told him it would take a few days to check his information. Too bad we can't make him think I'm really dead. Go on drawing him out. I'm sure he is only working under orders from someone higher up. Yes, Karnak the killer. I want to 
meet him, I'll bet he's harmless as a dove with a name like that. Unfortunately, he didn't select a name to impress people. It was given him by the families of his victims. Uh, who is he, Your Excellency? We don't know. He's a wealthy, power-mad despot. Uh, Carnac. Hmm. Hmm. That's not his real name, is it? Is he American? There's much speculation. Is he a lone wolf? Well, in some ways. He uses help whenever it's valuable. Now, Koa is a good example. And then, uh... No, he, he isn't a lone wolf. Uh, yes, Your Excellency, you were going to say, uh... There's a girl, Judith, his niece, I believe. Some describe her as the only person who has ever seen the face or heard the real name of Karnak the Killer. Depend on a woman being in it. I'm told by well-informed sources she's an unwilling accomplice. All women are. That's their feminine charm. What are we going to tell Koa when he comes? We'll throw him into jail immediately. He might do us more good outside. What do you mean? He isn't the brains. He's the tool. He may stumble. He may blunder. He may drop us a clue that will solve the conspiracy. Well, that's, that's one way of looking at it. He's already given us one clue I consider of great value. You mean this blundering initial arrest? No, no, not at all. This has been a lot of fun. He left something in the jungle camp he didn't mean to leave behind. A ring. I think it's going to op open up many gates for us, Governor. But while it brings us opportunity and success, I think its loss is apt to bring Koa considerable grief. I wonder just where Koa is. What he's doing, what will happen when he finds out we're here. Isn't there some way we could smoke him out of his hiding place, then watch him once we get him out in the open? That's a good idea. Have you any idea where he hangs out, Major? Well, that's hard to say. There are a hundred saloons and dives across the bay that may be a front for any kind of conspiracy or racket, and he may be in any one of those. How about Kolu? He could disguise himself and frequent a number of those places without arousing suspicion and... Probably pick up the trail for us. That's a good idea, Lil. While you are all finishing your coffee, I'll go out and have a talk with Kolu. Well, I, I think that's an excellent plan, if you have the right man. Kolu is the right man, Your Excellency. He's been Jim's right-hand man for years. We could never accomplish half the feats they give us credit for without Kolu. He has a keen mind, great patience, and unusual strength. Well, Jim, I'd favor you following through your suggestion of sending Kolu out on a scouting expedition to the native quarters. All agreed, then? I'll hunt him up. So it was agreed that Kolo should start out on the trail of the treacherous Koa. Despite the danger, Kolo relished the job, and disguised as a Lasker, an East Indian seaman, he began frequenting the waterfront. Late in the afternoon, his patience was rewarded, for in the same waterfront saloon that Koa had visited to make his report, he overheard... Please, please, Bahuna love her, Koa. He go away. Bahuna not see her co a long, long time. Bahuna very sad, want to die. Then my co come back. Bahuna happy again. Co say he see her tomorrow. All day I watch. Co not come. Please tell Bahuna where co is. Now for the hundredth time, I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. I get out of here and quit bothering me. Go on, scram before I toss you out. Oh, I go. Not be mad at poor Bahuna. She loved Koa too much. Bahuna die, Koa not love her. All right, all right. Now get out before I do get mad. I'll tell him you've been here. Many thanks. You kind to Bahuna. Bahuna not forget you. Bahuna not forget you. All right. That girl look for man named Koa. I look for him too. Oh, you are, are you? Well, that's why you've been hanging around here all afternoon. Well, what do you want with him? You owe me money. Koa tell me if I help him hide on steamer from Singapore. Get back for Goan Island quick. He pay me good. I hide him in cargo hold. Feed him. Help him get home on fast boat. Then he run away. No pay me. Ah, so you helped him get home in a hurry from Singapore on a fast boat, huh? Well, let me tell you something. If you can find him and bring him here, I'll pay you good money, too. Hmm. Maybe you trick me like Koa did. He say he run away from white army boss who want to kill him. He want get away quick, go home. So I help him. Oh, so he told you that, huh? He tell you anything else? Just say white army boss man kill another white man in jungle. So army boss man want kill Koa, so he not tell. I feel sorry, help him. Maybe make bakshi silver. But you said Koa tricked you. Maybe he will pay you. I not think so. Koa lie all time. 
White army boss man not kill white man in jungle. How do you know that? I go to army camp. Think I find Koa there today. Get my money. Yeah? Yeah, go on. I not find him. I ask native boys. They laugh. Tell me white officer have big joke. No white man kill anyone. All officer come home. All friends bring white lady home on big fly boat. Yeah. You hear what white officers' names are? Did you hear that? No hear that. I want find Koa, get money. Yeah. Have a drink. If I see Koa, I won't tell him you were here, but if you come back tomorrow, I'll have him here. You can get your money. Ah, uh, thank you. That'd be good. Yeah, in the meantime, you see, if see if you can find out the uh, white officers' names and the name of the white woman. If you have them when you come tomorrow, I give you plenty backsies. Hmm. It'd be good. I do it. Okay. Hey, Lefty. Yeah. Take over here, will you? Got to go to supper. Give this guy another drink if he wants it. Okay. On the house. Right on, Mike. See you later. Losing no time, the bartender goes through the back room and through the underground secret route to report to the mysterious chief by radio of the latest development. We're going, reporting. We're going, reporting. Go ahead, we're going. It's about that 87, chief. Reported from Singapore the day before yesterday. That swine's given us the slip. Yes? What makes you think so? Well, you ordered him to get that ring of identification returned the same night. He said he had it hidden amongst his baggage. Well, he hedged when I reminded him of it, told me a fishy story. But I didn't think he was fool enough to try to give us the slip. He hasn't been back or returned the ring, is that it? No, and that's only half of it. There's been a Lasker hanging around my bar who claims he helped Koa, or 87 as we call him, to get home here on a fast boat. Promised to pay this Lasker seaman some money for hiding him and bringing him home. Well, what's that got to do with us? Well, in order to get the seaman to hide him, he told him part of the story of the shooting in the jungle. Said he was escaping because his boss had killed a man, and he had seen the murder, and his boss wanted to get him out of the way, too. Why, that blithering fool... Did he give it a name? No, it's lucky for him he didn't. Listen, Chief, here's the payoff. Thick and Cole was an army servant and would return to the army camp. This Lasker seaman went there trying to find him. He asked about him, told some of the officers' native servants the story of the killing, and the native boys just laughed. Laughed? Why? Because they said white officer came back from jungle with friend and white woman all good friends. Officers had a good laugh. Hey, wait, wait a minute. That sounds like Major Breeze, Jungle Jim, and Shanghai Lil. Yeah, that's just what I thought. That's why I'm reporting it. Why, that double-crossing swine. Get your information at once. And if that dog has lied to us, double-crossed us for Jungle Jim, I'll... I'm checking the information wait. now. Wait a minute. Put out the dragnet at once. You take care of the waterfront. I'll take care of the back country. We'll comb every inch of these islands if necessary to find that rat. Get busy. Pick him up. Bring him here and we'll give him the... Special treatment. I'll teach him to try to double cross me. Remember, start now. Get the car. It looks like a bad day for Koa. Of course, giving the devil his due, Koa did think Jungle Jim was dead, and he did lose the ring in the jungle camp. But now circumstances have conspired to make the future pretty dark for Koa. On the other hand, Jungle Jim and Lil seem to be starting in their new adventure with every promise of a successful conclusion. But it's a long and perilous road they have before them, and who knows? Tune in for the next chapter in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Follow the adventures of Jungle Jim on the air and in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the great comic supplement which comes to you as part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. The Comic Weekly is the world's largest supplement containing the best comic and adventure stories in full action color pictures. Follow your favorites, Jigs and Maggie, Barney Google, the Cats and Yammer Kids, the Little King, and the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. All these and many others are to be found in full color in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over the same station. Be sure to tune in. <laughs> 